Modeler, happy Easter to everyone. I hope you're enjoying the time off if you get it. If you haven't, sorry. Um, sorry to rub it in and all the rest of it, but I'm working too. Right, okay. Um, first up, he says grabbing his notes, he has to mention um, on the site the new group build. Now, obviously, we put a poll up, is inside the forum, so you're going to have to go to the forum to um, you know put up your votes and all the rest of it. It's only for members, obviously. Um, 15 categories this time, so plenty to choose from. Um, first off, we've got the Great uh, Patriotic War. Obviously, this is the efforts against Nazi Germany with the Russian front, things like that. Gulf War, say no more. Um, obviously, when we've got um, Japanese, um, the uh, self-defense force, same as we've got the Israeli defense force, so two categories there. Uh, night fighters of World War II, plenty of scope there, some interesting subjects. Helicopters of the world, anything that worthy words that you do. Um, Operation Torch, which was the um, operations in North Africa um, during the Second World War, so quite an interesting one there. Um, we've got uh, Operation Overlord, obviously, you know, D-Day, we all know that one. Um, what ifs. Fantastic one, you know, basically if you've never done a what if before you do pick an aircraft that perhaps never been in those markings or never flew that particular mission and you do it as if a what if it had ever worked, that type of thing. Pearl Harbor, obviously, you know, the, the efforts around there as well. Uh, Cold War era, obviously anything from the sort of, you know, um, 60s, 70s, 80s, things like that really. Um, and then you've got um, natural metal finishes, which is very nice because obviously that's all your high speed aluminiums and as well as your bare metal finishes, things like that. Experimental subjects, obviously all your ex-aircraft from around the world. Um, cars and motorcycles, purely for just, it would just be if we go with that, everyone will just have to do a car and a motorcycle, so get practicing with your gloss work then. Um, and then obviously we've got TV and film appearances, which is I think is quite a nice category because you've got a massive selection there. Anything that's been in a film, it doesn't matter if it's a Raptor or an Osprey from um, Transformers film, right the way through to Huey's Apocalypse Now, whatever you wanted to do, as long as it's been on the TV or a film, including obviously your sci-fi type era as well, Battlestar Galactica type stuff, anything else goes like that. Plenty of things, um, it's pretty well close at the moment, there's only about 10% in amongst it all, there's a couple of percent between the top three at the moment. So if you want to vote, go along in the forum and get in there. Don't forget at the same time you've got the Southeast Asia conflict is drawing to a close, so you need to get your entries in quick because as soon as the closing date happens I will lock the forum and then everybody who's got a completed entry will obviously get a medal which will be then sent to you free of charge from me to say you completed in it and took part and then obviously we'll have an overall winner which will be picked by myself and the forum team um, and then obviously they'll get some prizes just as soon as I sort them all out and decide what they're all going to be really. Um, other things to mention, competition, sorry it's a bit late, it's about a week late going back up there. Um, it'll be obviously a full set of Pro Model 6 of the washes, two DVDs of your choice, um, the Pro Modeler's very limited edition mug, uh, he says grabbing it all, t-shirt, obviously the Pro Modeler's t-shirt, which is like this, which has got your promodeler.com all over the back of it as well, so you can advertise for us as you walk around the shows. Um, um, and some other bits and pieces you're going to find them. Usual thing, pop to the forum, competition area, go down, say yes I'm in, and then obviously one person's picked at random. Other thing to remember, on the site this week is the um, DVD now you can buy, it's number 12 in the series, uh, which is basically uh, an hour and 75 minutes, it, it was a bit late putting it up to be honest, because I had to wait for them to come back after being burnt by the company, but they're all done now, they're all available, i.e. to members who can buy them, you can download it, um, or non-members you can just buy the DVD as well, so that's up on the site as we go. Talking of DVDs and things like that, um, you might be able to see here by my shoulder the Fokker Wolf here, the 190A5 that we've been working on now. This is the Eddard one. Uh, we did a bit of scratch building around the engine area to have it open and various bits and pieces like that. Um, it's a six-parter. Originally it was going to be four and then I did a few more bits and then it became five and then I thought I might as well go the whole hog. It's a six-part build. Quite goes through lots of it about the different weathering and dry brushing and various bits and pieces and opening up the panels and some scratch building to build bigger panels and things like that as we did. As I say, I wanted to cover everything so that's why it's taken a little bit longer so I've stretched it out, um, included all its little bits and pieces which I wasn't. So after a bit of re-editing, it's all there. So obviously part four is going to be up today. Um, part five I'll put up Sunday and then part six I'll put up on Monday. And then as of Monday, we're going to be starting with our Chinook with our super build as we've got here so we have our Chinook already like this and I've got loads of styrene and loads of bits of copper wire and plumbing and various bits and pieces um, and this one as we say is going to be slightly different because we're going to put it in the forum um, and I'm going to build it along in the forum at the same time so if anybody's got ideas or input they want to do we can put it in we can get it into this model um, originally I was going to do one now I'm going to do two of them don't ask why but it, there's a reason for it honest um, so we're going to do two Chinooks 
beautiful looking ones and all the rest of it so you can have your input and your say and then obviously what happened is if you've got a question about how you're going to do something in the next episode of the build um, for the video um, which you can download obviously or buy at the end um, and then obviously I'll cover it in there in a bit more detail and we can do it like that so quite excited about starting with those Okay, so it's a bit of a short one this one this week, gang. Um, nobody sent me anything to review and I haven't bought anything, so no reviews really this week. Um, but apart from that, I want you all to have a happy Easter, enjoy the holiday, unless you're not having a holiday, you're forced to work, then I'm really sorry, but I'm sure you get some time off soon for doing some modelling. Um, as I say, keep up with the bits and pieces in the site uh, and on the forum. We hope to bring you much more exciting stuff next week. Okay, get lots and lots of emails asking about um, pre-shading and why I pre-shade. Basically, in a nutshell, the reason I appreciate is that I think it gives depth to the actual paintwork of your model. A lot of you might have seen die cast, where if you had a die cast model, literally, um, like this, looks great, but it's a bit blocky, it gives it a block effect. Pre-shading is a quick and easy way to give your paintwork some depth, or as my word as I use, is tonal difference. So you can give it some tone and to change it, and it just breaks it up and gives it a sense of scale, which obviously you don't get um, if you're just gonna do it in blocks of color. So what we actually do, Take your airbrush, prime your model is always better because it gives it something to grip to. And then all we're going to do is just going to go along with some flat black. So we've just got some in here, we just fill up the old colour cup. Okay, let's give this a quick mix about. We'll get some air in the old compressor. And okay, so we just, not good. Plus ones for the outtakes. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Always check to make sure your airbrush is running fine before you do that. Okay, so we'll use this to our advantage now. Okay, bubbling in your <laughs> cup, which make a huge mess, but as you can see, it's coming back out. What's happened is, obviously, uh, the air goes down the paintwork can't get out the end of the needle because obviously it's blocked or something like that so then it's actually coming straight back up so whilst I've now covered myself in black paint um, we'll just get this cleared so first things first lose what's in your colour cup just like that get yourself some kitchen towel clean up your work surface 